England. Five twelve. Anno Domini. King Arthur lies dying. Mortally wounded after killing his nemesis Mordred at the Battle of Salisbury Field, he slowly fades at Camelot. All attempts to heal him have proven fruitless. Even the mighty Merlin, master of the mystical arts, has failed to revive his beloved king. The knights of his round table pace the castle grounds, powerless to help. Lady Guinevere sits vigil by his side, haunted by thoughts of death. His subjects anxiously await news of his condition. A terrible silence and sadness cloaks the entire kingdom. There is only one hope. The fabled Holy Grail. Comes the stately queen, whose name was Guinevere, a rosy dawn kindled in stainless heavens. And but for those large eyes, the haunts of sadness, one would feel the kingdom held golden and free. You may approach. I must thank you for coming in such haste. You see, I have such terrible, terrible news for you. As one of Arthur's knights, you must be aware that Mordred had tried to usurp the throne. The throne of England. Arthur fought bravely against Mordred, and he succeeded in reclaiming his crown. Mordred lie dead. Serves him right for being a traitor. Though, unfortunately, our king, our king Arthur, he is mortally wounded. There is not much else we can do. Every day, I see his light fading. My love. I fear he will die soon. And you are our only hope. I know it seems sudden. But there is nothing we can do for him here. I have one last chance. And I believe that the Holy Grail will be the only thing that can save him. The Holy Grail is a legend. Many believe that it is not true. I know it to be in my heart. It is a miraculous cup filled with a liquid that could give you eternal happiness, eternal youth. Overwhelming abundance. Yes, it... I, I, I'm not sure where it is. And I know it's... A very large quest, but... You see... I had a dream. In this dream... The Grail... It was covered with a... A thin white sheet. It was glowing so brightly that you could see it. Ever so softly. Surrounded by an abundance of fruit. Many different types. Apples, grapes, oranges. And there next to it. I saw you. You were in my dream. When I woke up, I knew. It was you, the one that was going to save King Arthur. It is fated. You are the one to go on the quest for the Holy Grail. 
So I beg of you, please save my king, your king. Do you accept? <sighs> Wonderful. <sighs> I am just torn to pieces by his condition. Thank you. No, I, I do not know of where the Holy Grail is, but there is legend that it is in Avalon. Yes, it is a mysterious island of magic. It is filled with fruit and wheat and grain that grows all by itself. It's somewhere that I do not know. But I know of someone who might. In fact, you cannot do this quest alone. It would be too dangerous. Perhaps I know of a few other knights that could help you. That could protect you on your journey. There will be perils. And there will be tests, I'm sure. Well, first things first. You must find Merlin. He is a wizard. He has been an aide for Arthur his whole life, guiding him in the right direction. I'm sure he would love to help. He's a bit odd, but don't let that put you off. <laughs> he must be in his tower. Let me draw you a map. I'm just going to grab my pen here. exact location of those that may help you, I do not know, but I have a good idea. I will direct you to them. Quill, of course. Isn't it beautiful? It's very soft. directions for you to Merlin's Tower.
brave knight such as yourself. One that is truly loyal to, to King Arthur. His name is Sir Lancelot. Yes, extremely brave. He could absolutely protect you. You can say that I sent you, if you like. He should still be in Camelot, but I do know that he has taken the condition of King Arthur to, to heart. He's not doing too well. Perhaps you could help inspire him. The Holy Grail, the quest. It might lift his spirits. I do believe he would be in... This area of Camelot. Hmm, that's right. Yes. Uh. Lady Lyle. She will fight for your life. Extremely brave as well. And mighty, of course. I do believe she is also in Camelot. I will write down the last location I believe her to be. Unfortunately, she doesn't believe in prophecies and legends, so she might be a bit hesitant. But, whether she believe it or not, explain to her King Arthur and his condition, the dire consequences. Explain to her the urgency to help our king. She will then help you, I promise. Where was she? Where was she? Where was she? Yes, the one that she was potentially. Maybe they saw her over there in the courtyard, and then perhaps she was. Ah, oh, in the last place that she was, was she put in with Arthur Duke? Yes, 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 that's right. Perhaps she was. And then. that is correct. Perhaps you could find her first. She will be of you, the utmost importance to have in your crew. <sighs> Lastly, I hate to even mention this one, but if she's on your side, it could be of the biggest help to you. You see, there's a magic user, like Merlin. Her name is Vivian. She is immensely powerful. She could help you find the Holy Grail. Sadly, she cannot be trusted. Do not fall for any of her ploys. Understand that this is a job, a quest, and that you must be careful. There are others looking for the Grail for their own purposes, I suppose. So be careful. Maybe you could convince her somehow. Consult Merlin. She has a dark tower 
over a dreary land that she presides. <sighs> yes, that's right. And she was a make of her to do scan and then like take and then just go here and then pass the bridge and then on to the road to go push it so we can go with Denise and Lou and the clock and so good and you want to see and the brothers are really good so we have a third time and the cook and so do we cook together and then she would go to the night so we can go away and then we'll see when the night will be of course yes wonderful wonderful so we can go away hmm I do believe that should do. Put my feather eye here. And I just need to seal it real quick. Take this on your journey. Find Merlin. Find Lancelot. Lady Lyle. And Vivian. They will help you. They will help you to complete your quest for the Holy Grail. I'm sorry I could not be of more help. But this is all I can do. I pray that you are able to complete your quest. Before you go, be sure to eat up, head to the armory, and get yourself a nice new plate of armor. Say that I sent you. It's a secret mission. You can't go telling everyone. And it is very important. If anybody tries to stop you, send them to me. I'll set them straight. While Arthur is on his deathbed, I am in charge. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you, dear knight. True courage scorns to vent her prowess in a storm of words. And to the valiant, actions speak alone. What? You. Dost thou come to thank me for saving their life? Well. 
You can give your thanks to others. They do not require praise. If not that, then what? The Grail. Well, it will be hard to find, especially since it does not exist. Your time would be better spent hunting down the last drags of the traitor army long fled. Where would you even start? Well, that old scroll hoarder would be a good place to start. He might have something. And if ever he were to share, now would be the time and place. If, if a map like this were to exist, and if it were to be genuine, I'm afraid it is far too late. You see, the sands of time have run out. Arthur has little life left within him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So Taking your sweeping assumptions on true, and we were to depart on this quest, it would be just you and I. Hmm. I see. Well, if I were to assemble a team, it would be those I chose. If you can guarantee Morgan and Lancelot, then your odds would go from impossible to dire. Dire odds indeed. But, I have been mocked for death more times than I can count. And, here I stand. I admire your stubborn pursuit of good. It is a fool's errand. I can see your mind is made up. I didn't save you on the battlefield only to have yourself killed the morrow after. No, I think not. I will accompany you. I'm doubtless you will be in need of saving once more. 
I shall ready the horses. Do not tarry. Then, in the boyhood of the year, Sir Lancelot and Queen Guinevere rode through the coverts of the deer with blissful treble ringing clear. someone in here. No, I... Uh, well, yes, my, my pleasure. Sir Lancelot, at your service, yes. I, I was just admiring the moon. It seems like the only peaceful thing about this night. The thoughts in my mind are too much troubling. I... Oh, I wouldn't want to share them with you, no. I wouldn't want to trouble you as well. It's just that with what happened to Arthur, I cannot help to think that it's all my fault. After all, I should be the one protecting him in battle. And I... I failed. I failed him and... Well, none of us knows if he's going to survive. If he does not get better, I will never stop blaming myself. Yes, um, well, I've always been at his side since the first time we, well, first time the the knights were gathered. There's so many stories I could tell you, yes. So many stories of our journeys, our quests. Everything we'd done together, but... I don't want to start tell these stories as if it was something from the past, as if he was gone already. Let me just light up this candle here. It's a little dark, yes I know. I don't know what to do, and I don't know how to save him. I wasn't... I wasn't able to protect him in the battlefield, and now I'm... I'm hopeless, and I don't have any... any... any solutions for this. He only seems to get worse. And honestly, honestly, no one seems to be able to have any cure. (sighs) 
What do you mean? Oh no, that's... that's impossible. No, me and Arthur, we searched for it long, long ago. It was... it was impossible to find it. Yes. The Holy Grail. Long lost never to be found. But with the right people. Sure, you ask them. Of course I will join them, and you. Of course. You have my sword. I will go with you in this quest. It is the only way for me to redeem myself for my failure to protect Arthur. Where did you find this? How? How did this come to your possession. Oh, that's... that's fascinating. Oh, yes. Well, of course, you need... you still need to... to find more people for our journey. Have you talked to Merlin? Yes, a wizard. A wizard is... obviously necessary. I believe you shall speak with Morgaine as well. She would take a little more effort to convince, I believe. But if you can convince her, then that would be very good. Yes, we should speak to the other knight, and this is going to be a very long journey. A very long journey, but this brings back hope. It brings back hope, yes. Thank you. Thank you, truly, without this, there would be no hope, and Arthur would probably, well, have no second chances. Well, well certainly I must prepare. What kind of things do you think this quest would require from us? From us all? Ah oh, yes, I do. I do know how to defend myself all of these years training in the art of the sword. And yes, I already offered it to you. I think I should ask Merlin for Maybe some help with magical, magical artifacts that could help us. Well, certainly there's a lot to prepare. It's going to be a long night. Yes, I will, well, I will first of all ask for a new armor to be made. Yes, the other one was ruined in battle. You saw the battle.
You think so? Well, I tried. I tried my best to do everything I could. But in the end, I just... I looked away for one second. There were so many of them, so many. So many enemies, and... It was just a second. Just a second, and then... Arthur was in the ground. Yes, well... It wasn't enough. But you give me one... One last chance... To... To do better. Yes, one last chance to do it better. I will do whatever it takes. I will take you to the Grail. Even if it's the last thing I do. And I'm sure all of the others will give their best. Yes. Promise me that you will... You will see this through. You will bring it back to Arthur. Okay. Sure. You're gonna need this show to the others and convince them. I shall meet you soon. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Well, good luck. Between the light and the dark, between the land and sea, floats the thoughts of wiser ones beyond the grasp of we. again and again that, well, all these men, including Arthur, they are so busy with their silly little lives and their eagerness to be powerful and rule, I guess. They seem to forget one little thing. do not think about their mortality. So, as far as I am concerned, I don't really see why we should all go through such peril and despair just to, well, spare him a few years. You see, I think Arthur's time has come. there is anything that you can present to me as, maybe, an exchange of some sort. Yes, do go on. Please tell me more. Mm-hmm. Is that 
so interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh, fear not, my dear friend. No, no, don't be alarmed. I can sense that you are a good person. something about you that may change my mind. I can sense a certain aura that surrounds you. I, now that I think about it, I am a little curious. What were you thinking of doing in order to save him? Surely you must have. More than just an idea, am I correct? I see. Very interesting indeed. You must have a lot of courage. Mm, something that is not necessarily seen in a lot of people nowadays. Yes. Willing to all your attention and possibly sacrifice something that is very important to you. Yes. Hmm. I would like to hear a little more. But I would already consider myself somewhat intrigued. You have awoken my interest, which is not easy to do. I see. Yes. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I have been practicing a lot of new spells and curses. Indeed. I am sure that you would most definitely be able to benefit from those. Hmm. Now, I must say this. Going on such a dangerous task, dangerous adventure, I must say I like to join you, but under two conditions. I would like you to visit Vivian. Can you do that for me? Of course you can. Now, when you have found her, I would like you to collect something from her. To give it to me. It is a gem. You need not know what it does. All you need to know is that you have to bring it to me. Yes. And another thing. Vivian. She may keep everything she finds. Except the grail. That is important. Yes, indeed. Now, it would be very nice if you could do those things for me. Well, yes, I shall remain secretive about this. It is very important that you don't know Before you go, I'd like to cast a wee bit of a protection spell on you. Just something very light. So that it will not burden you on your further journeys. 
should also help you with your future encounters. sense there's a lot of courage coming from you. I'm very happy that we met. Now, you best be on your way. I need to continue working on some of my spells. I shall find it very interesting to come with you. Can't wait to practice them. Now,